Welcome to the House of Ham. I'm Bob WV7W, and we have yet another update to the Radioddity GD88. Did they fix all our woes? Let's find out. The Radioddity GD88 was first released last year, and I had some real issues with it initially. They did do a firmware update in October, but the only thing they did was add Talker Alias. This time, it looks like they've fixed a few things. The update process is fairly straightforward, although not very intuitive. The process is exactly the same as the last one, like I described in my video on that update. And you can get that from the card above or in the link in the description. The one thing I bemoaned was that you could not go to single display mode. Well, they did fix that with this one. To get to single display mode, you need to go into the menu and select Local Set, which is the gear icon. Then go to Display Mode. At the bottom, you'll see Single Mode. By selecting that, it'll put the radio into Single Display Mode, and select it again goes back into Dual Display Mode. It only seems to work on VFOA. Although there is an AB on the screen above the right soft key, that doesn't seem to do anything. You can go into VFO mode by holding the red button for a couple seconds, just as you could in dual mode, and then you can hold it again to go back into memory. You can also switch zones by pressing the green button. Next, they fixed the issue where you had to select a receive group or you would not receive anything. It took me a fair amount of teeth gnashing and cursing to figure that one out initially. This was definitely a needed and welcome change. Next is the difference in volume between analog and digital modes. I had not really noticed that as much as overall you just couldn't get the volume low enough. This is supposed to balance the DMR with the analog, but it doesn't really seem to balance them out and the analog is still too loud at its lowest setting. Okay, not really the lowest setting. If you go all the way down, there's no audio at all, but one click up is still too loud. DMR seems to be okay though. Another thing that I had not noticed, but many had criticized, is that you could not send DTMF tones in analog mode. And they have now fixed that. So if you need to use DTMF tones on your repeater, you're in luck. One thing that was a major annoyance for me and is now right, and that is the contact information is accurate with the current caller. Prior to this firmware, it would often lag so the display showed the previous caller, not the current one. So. Now that I've run the new firmware through its paces, what do I think of it? I think they're making progress, but there's still some room for improvement. So I do I recommend that you update the firmware if you're still on the older? Absolutely. I still think this radio has potential, but it still doesn't dethrone my Anytone 878UV2 Plus as my preferred DMR radio. This one is actually destined for my son, KD8JCJ, who will give it a new home. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, do me a favor and mash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Until next time, 73.